What? What just happened when I dropped that? When I let, I should say, when I let go of the book, it fell, didn't it? Now, what would happen if I did the same with the pen? What about my lip balm? What happens when you let go of something that you're holding up? Right. It falls, doesn't it? Do you know the word that's part of the reason why that happens? I want to share with you today a fun book called Gravity. Have you heard the word gravity before? As hard as you try, if you jump up, you're always going to come back down. Because gravity, it's what's pulling you down towards the earth. Now, this is a very short book, but I wanted to share it with you because we've been talking a little bit about the sun and about the moon. And this has a little something to do with the sun and the moon. This book is called Gravity by Jason Chin. And I want you to be thinking, how fun would it be if there was no gravity? Gravity. Gravity makes objects fall to earth. So no matter what you hold up, no matter how high you jump, gravity is what's making things fall to earth. Without gravity, everything would... Float away. That might be fun for a while. The moon would drift away from the earth. The gravity is what's holding the moon near the earth. So if there was no gravity, the moon would just float away. The earth would drift away from the sun. Now we got some problems, don't we? Luckily, everything has gravity. Massive things have a lot of gravity. Massive means big things. And their gravity pulls on smaller things. So what's... For real? Sorry, my granddaughter's here. She just went out for a bike ride. So the sun is the big thing. What's it pulling on? Right, the earth. You can come in. Gravity keeps the earth near the sun. There's Riley. Tell my kids hi. Hi. <laughs> Gravity keeps the earth near the sun. The moon near the earth and makes objects fall. To earth. So it might be fun to float around for a while but I think gravity is probably a good thing. Hmm, wonder what's gonna happen. See you later.